What the hell is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. If you are new here, hey what's up? My name's Danny, and I made a pact to myself that for the next six months I'm going to be doing a ridiculous amount of vlogging on this channel. So if you are a fan of daily vlogs and you want to see what my life is going to be like this summer and beyond as I look for a job and I live in the Hamptons and all that fun stuff, then make sure to subscribe. So it's 11.46 in the morning right now and I... I don't want to say I got a late start, but I definitely got a lazy start. So I obviously I slept in, didn't set an alarm the entire morning. I was catching up on this new, I guess I want to call it an Instagram dating show. It's hosted by this woman named Serena Kerrigan. I have been following her for a little over a year now and I'm literally obsessed with her. I think she's the coolest person in the entire world. And during quarantine, she started this whole Instagram live dating show where every Friday she goes on dates with different guys and it's sick. And I also just posted a video, which is super exciting. So if you guys haven't seen the vlog of the first few days of summer, then make sure to go watch that. And yeah, I just have some fun updates for you guys in in terms of my room and stuff, but we can get into that a little later. I'm starving because I have yet to eat anything or make myself any coffee and it is definitely on the later side. So let's head downstairs and do that right now. I'm not really in the mood for anything sweet like I usually am for breakfast So we have an avocado that's totally ready and I think I'm gonna make one slice of Avocado toast and then just save the other half of the avocado for lunch pretty much every morning recently as I've been going through my morning routine and doing my makeup or my skincare and making my breakfast I've been listening to my new Spotify playlist. I Andrew. It's okay. You can come downstairs um, I made this new Spotify playlist called I'm pretty sure I just called it a hype summer playlist and at this point it has three hours worth of songs and it's my favorite playlist that I've ever made. So I'll have that link down below for you guys. It's so much fun and if I ever get to the point where I can have a party this summer with a bunch of friends, this is the go-to playlist to play during that party. My breakfast, per usual, was amazing, and before I lay out, I of course want to put some sunscreen on my body because that is equally as important as my face. And while I was eating breakfast, I swear, guys, these are the reasons why I believe in speaking things into existence and the power of manifestation and all that stuff because I literally just told you guys this morning that I was watching the dating show called Let's Fucking Date and as I'm eating my breakfast, I get a DM on my most recent Instagram picture from the Let's Fucking Date Instagram account saying to DM them, which is just like crazy. I, I don't know what they want yet and it could be absolutely nothing, but it's just funny how that popped up on my phone today for absolutely no reason. Just. Definitely a cool feeling. Also while I was eating, I got a DM from a lovely subscriber who during quarantine started her own small business where she makes vintage looking university sweatshirts and stuff like that. And I think she made me a Loyola one and she DM'd me and she was like, hey, I would love to send this to you. So obviously I said yes and I can't wait to get in, in the mail because I'm just gonna support her small business and leave links for you guys so you guys can support her as well. Also, I guess while I'm here, now would be as good a time as any to show you guys some of my recent room updates. I don't really know how it's gonna go doing a full room makeover video since I'm gonna be vlogging almost every day but we'll see how that goes so the last time you guys saw my room it really was just a mattress on the floor and since then I got this beautiful comforter I always really like sleeping with really heavy comforters that's why I've always wanted a weighted blanket but this honestly is the next best thing it has an amazing weight to it and it also doesn't keep me too warm, so it's a nice little in-between. Next, I finally got myself a bed frame. I got this from Wayfair, and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. As you guys will be able to tell, I want a lot of wood detailing in my room, so that's why I wanted a bed frame that looked like this, and I also have my ceiling light that has wood accents as well. And then in addition to that, I also got this mirror in the mail the other day. This has already made an appearance on my Instagram. I'm kind of obsessed with it. I just really like the contrast of the black and the brown, really just ties in 
in all of the colors, especially in my carpet and my ceiling light and all the pillows that I plan on getting from Home Goods once that store opens up again. So now that that's done, I'm gonna head down to the pool. I'm gonna bring my book that I've been reading recently. This is This Is Not A Fashion Story by Danielle Bernstein. I spoke about this in a previous video. I still have not finished it, but it's freaking amazing. So I'm gonna go read this by the pool and it's gonna be a good rest of the day. I know this one. Made her get down on the bottom and she tied me. Let's go. Pull up extra icy. I'm not playing hockey. Get your bitch and fuck your mom and auntie. Clock now. I haven't spoken to you in a bit, but my mom and I are about to run out to the grocery store because tonight we want to make a charcuterie board. We haven't done this in a second. I have some wine that I want to drink and I figure what goes better with some wine than a cheese board. So hopefully we can find what we're looking for. I think I've said this in a video before, but this is literally my favorite grocery store I've ever been to. It's huge and it has everything. So going is like a vacation for me. I'm very excited. So hopefully we can find what we're looking for and make an A plus cheese board. I also changed into this outfit. The sweatshirt is from Princess Polly and my shorts are Levi's. Are we ready to go? These will be good and they're soft. Is that Brie? Where's Brie? Let's get Brie. I don't really like Gouda. And now I tried it the last time. I didn't love it, which is surprising because I don't not like mini cheeses. It is seven o'clock now, and after spending literally all day by the pool, which was just so nice, I love living here so much, um, I decided to take my boredom and use it to make TikToks as I normally do. So if you guys are bored just like me and wanna follow me on TikTok, it would be much appreciated. It's always down below and on the screen, of course. I also want to tell you guys that the other day I saw my best friend Bridget for the first time in six months, which was obviously so exciting. And I knew I wanted to vlog that day, but I didn't end up getting a full day's worth of footage. So I figured while I'm in the shower, I will insert all the footage that I did did get from that day into this video so you guys can enjoy it along with me and then by the time you guys are done watching that footage I will be out of the shower and it will be time to make a charcuterie board <laughs> so much yeah. we just took the coolest pictures because the lighting right now is just ideal and now we're starving oh, let's eat some pizza <laughs> and of course we had to bring our own hot sauce and <laughs> our own ranch that looks so good right oh my god is it fat enough <laughs> <laughs> if I throw it back, is it fast enough? If I speed it up. Can you handle that? that? <laughs> Alright people, here is our completed cheese boards, charcuterie boards, plural, because I ended up making two. Over here we have Gruyere, we have Manchego cheese, and we have Brie. And then we ended up just getting this whole pack of like pre-assorted charcuterie meat. And that was really, really convenient from that grocery store. And then we have green apples, because these go really well with Manchego cheese. We have prosciutto, we have cherries, blackberries, strawberries, a little bit of everything. And then I'm gonna be drinking this wine tonight. And now that we've finished up with our cheese board, we're going to watch the last two episodes of The People vs. O.J. Simpson. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to day two of this vlog. I actually have the house to myself right now, which is kind of strange for someone who doesn't typically love being home alone, but I decided to take advantage because it's such a beautiful day. So I did my entire morning routine down here. I opened up some windows, and now I'm making my breakfast. I actually have some really fun plans for today that, of course, I'm going to be sharing with you, but I'll talk to you about that 
after I finish making my food because I'm freaking starving right now. So I just decided to stick with the classic peanut butter and jelly toast for breakfast this morning. And also in the back, you can see my computer. Last night, I ended up starting a new show. Um, I started watching Baby Daddy on ABC Family, which I guess is now Freeform. And it reminds me a lot, understandably so, of um, Young and Hungry, which is another sitcom also on ABC Family. And I just really like the vibe of these shows. They're super easy to watch. I already went through the entire first season, so that's obvious a good sign and it's just good mindless TV for me I don't have to pay attention as much as I did for something even like how I met your mother but it's really entertaining all right people it's not even 10 o'clock yet and I just finished my breakfast downstairs I have my coffee in here and I just put away all the dishes in the dishwasher so now I am free to start getting ready for my day, which means I can tell you what my fun plans are for today. Um, as I'm sure a lot of you guys know, tons of states in the United States are starting to go through the process of reopening. I believe Long Island is going to be moving into phase three within the next few days, which is really exciting. That doesn't mean that you just stop being cautious, but it does mean that there is a little bit of a light at the end of the tunnel, which feels really hopeful. So on top of all of that, I would love to be able to start seeing some of my friends again. So much like the other day, Bridget came over to social distance in my backyard. Today, two of my friends, Lisa and Evan, are going to be doing the same thing. You know, I think that's one of the many reasons why I'm so grateful to have this house because it acts as an escape, not only for myself, but also for my friends. Anyone who feels like they want to get away from their families or a certain situation, they know that they're always welcomed here. And I mean, I always invite visitors because it makes me happy to be around friends. And I just, I know my friends would do the same for me. So I'm happy doing that for my friends this summer. into a bathing suit just so I can be totally ready when they get here and I figured I don't want to do a full sit down <laughs> try on bathing suit haul because that always attracts very odd viewers so I think I'm just gonna squeeze it into this video really quickly all these bathing suits are from either Shein or Zoffel. I feel like every season I get bathing suits from them and I'm never gonna sit here and say that they're like the best bathing suits in the world, but like if you are looking for cheaper bathing suits, this is the place that many people go. So I am wearing this one. I really like the color. I never really wear bathing suits of this color. Um, I wore this one the other day that I loved, another color that I never wear. So it's just like this baby pink and I liked it because I could just easily take off the straps and then it feels like a bandeau so you don't get weird tan lines like I'm probably gonna get today. I have been re-obsessed with the color red recently so I got two red bathing suits from Zoffel. The first one is just this plain triangle bathing suit i have plenty of these and they're absolutely tiny so i'll never wear these around my parents and then the other one looks like this I, again i have another bathing suit of this exact style but it's cool because it's just a bandeau in the front and then it's open on the sides so there's that i've been obsessed with this color this like olive green i don't love it as much when i'm paler i never really get pale i'm not gonna say that i do but like when it's not the middle of summer i don't love this as much but during a time like right now where i've been in the sun more i love this color so so much i just realized that i'll probably be in a bathing suit for the majority of the summer in all of these vlogs because that's just the reality of my situation which i'm very grateful for and i'm gonna get a lot of questions about the bathing suits that i'm wearing so might as well just clear up any confusion early on they should be here in about a half hour or so so i think i'm gonna watch a few more episodes of baby daddy because I can, and I'm just so excited to see them. It's gonna be so much fun. <laughs> it's the TikTok thing where you take the knife and you do a double tap. It's just like here. And no, it's like down at the base, down here, and then you pop it off. That was, yeah, that was a flag. Like if you did that at a party successfully, yeah, such a flag. You know what? On that note, cheers. Alright guys, I'm about to jump in the pool. And the last time I videoed myself doing this, I got a comment um, from one of my favorite people who watches my videos, Daniela. Um, she said that I need a better way of jumping in the pool, and I don't have one yet, but we're working on it. There's gonna be progress by the end of the summer. I just don't know if there's gonna be progress right now. We'll see. Ready? 
Oh wait, can you even see the diamond board? Yes, okay. and clearly I am already completely ready for the day and I figured I could just end off the vlog right here. I edited a little bit of it last night and the length is already really good, actually on the longer side in comparison to a lot of the videos on my channel and I figure I can just extend whatever fun things happen today into the next vlog. So I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you watched till the end, I want you to comment down below what kind of videos other than vlogs you want to see on my channel because obviously I'm going to be doing so many vlogs but I don't only want to do that. So let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see. You can be as specific as you want. And with all that being said, I'll talk to you guys very soon in my next video. Bye!